Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, determine the components of uh, all cell reactions 8D, comma, A, B, and C. Alright, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. Right. So let's draw the free body diagram. This frame is fixed in D, so you expect to have three reaction forces there. You have dy, you have dx, and then you are going to have a moment I'm calling MD. At the support A, which is a hinge, you expect to have two reaction forces. You have AY. You have sorry a, a support a even when it is a hinge because uh, a b is a two force member okay a b is a two force member you expect to only have two forces at two locations and uh, without any moments, no moments, only forces. And these forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction and they are collinear. So here, if we assumed that this member AB is in compression, therefore we just expect two forces like this. All right. But these two forces, we can always get components in the X and in the Y, but we only expect uh, these forces that are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, and they are collinear. Right. So AB is a two force member. So I'll say, I'll just say, let me say, I will have one reaction in this direction. But you can partition it into two if you wanted to. There is no problem for you to say AY like this. You can say this. Okay, if you want to. But for me, I'll just say I'll have this one reaction here in this direction. And let me call it AB. Of course, it will have components. All right. So we have more number of reaction forces than the available equations of equilibrium. So we need to dismantle this particular frame. All right. So let's dismantle it. So we'll have the top member like so. Okay, let's put it there like so. And then we'll have another member at this position like so. This is the two force member. Let's say it is this one here. Okay. And then let's say we have another member here, which is this one. Which is uh cd so we have two forces here we have this force 10 kilonewtons and then we have another force which is a 15 kilonewtons let me just remove the units okay in this point we are saying is b all right here we are saying we are going to have these forces like so, assuming this is in compression, this is a two force member. This is A, this is B, this is AB, this is AB, okay? So we have that AB there again. Okay. Uh, this is AB. Of course, let me just put it there like that. Alright. And then here, this is C. Here I will have two components. I will have uh, CY. And then I will have CX. Okay. Then here, it will just be the opposite. I will have CX. And then I'll have CY. Then there we said we have 
because this point is RC. Here we have the moment uh, MD, uh, then we have this point is D, we have DY, and then we have DX. Okay, what are the dimensions? We do have dimensions. We have dimensions given this one there and uh, this side like so. Okay. And then the length for that one there is given as, let me put it on top somewhere there. Um, let me put it here. I think I can put it here. I can put it here. All right. And then this length, I can put it inside here. Okay. So this is four. Uh, this is three. Uh, this is three, three. 3 okay these are 3 meters 3 meters 3 meters 3 meters 4 meters 3 meters and uh, this is 4 meters so we are going to start with we'll start with member uh, member uh, BC we'll start with member BC okay apply the equations of equilibrium we'll have two components here but we need the slope what is the slope for this one the slope for this one is given already so the slope for this is a three here four rise four squared plus the three squared is 25 root of 25 is five so this component here is our a b by uh, the rise 4 divided by 5 and then we'll have another component there which is a b by uh, 3 over 5 great so then we'll start with bc we are going to take moments about right so starting with bc uh, we are going to take moments about point uh, c so let's say summation of moments about point c equal to zero and clockwise being our reference how uh, what do we have so we have negative moment being caused by a b by four over five by the lever arm nine and then uh positive moments due to 10 by the lever arm 6 then another one i mean these are positive moments these are positive moments plus 10 by 6 uh, plus 15 by 3 all right equal to 0 and therefore a b uh what do we have we have 10 by 6 plus 15 by 3 divided by 4 by 9 divided by 5 okay uh, 10 by 6 so 10 by 6 plus 15 15 by 3 109 and then divided by 4 by 9 divided by 5 all right so we have a b equal to a 14 point let's say 5 8 kilo neutrons okay then we have summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero going up in our reference what we have we have a b by 4 over 5 minus 10 
minus 15 plus cy equal to 0. Uh, AB, we replace it there. When we do so, we find that CY will be equal to so 14.58 by 405 minus 10 minus 15. We get uh, 13. We get a 13.34. A thirteen point three four kilo newtons. All right, and then we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. In that direction are positive. We have AB by three over five, and then we have plus CX equal to zero. So let's get AB, we also plug it here. And once we do so, we'll find that our CX will just be equal to, what is our CX equal to? 14.58 by three divided by five. So this is going to be equal to minus 8.75. Okay, kilonewtons. Right, so let's replace these values. Uh, CX is going to be, is negative, so this sign changes. It's supposed to be like this, and this value is 8.75. And also this one here changes. It's going to be something like this. We do face in that direction like that, and this equal to 8.75. Okay. And uh, what do we have? What else? AB, we said AB is equal to uh, 14.58 uh, and so is this AB here which you can move maybe to somewhere here and say this is equal to 14.58 uh, and so is this one here which is a 14.58 great and then we also found CY. CY we say this is equal to uh, a 13.34. So we can move this one here. We can move this maybe to somewhere here. So that we say it is also equal to 13.34. Alright. And then this we say this is a 14.58. So what we should do now, we need to go to a member CD so that we find the components at uh, the support D. All right. So let's say summation of moments about point D equal to zero and clockwise being our reference. What do we have? We have negative moment 8.75 by 4 plus MD equal to 0. Therefore, MD is just going to be equal to 8.75 by 4. This gives us a 35 kilo newton meters. And then we have summation of forces in the y equal to zero going up in our reference. So we have dy minus 13.34 equal to zero. 
and our dy is just going to be equal to 13.34 kilo newtons and then summation of forces in the x direction um, equal to zero in that direction in our reference and we have cx which is just 8.75 plus dx equal to zero therefore our dx is just going to be equal to minus 8.75 kilo newtons so let's give this let's give them the values md is 35 uh, dy is uh, 13.34 this is dy 13.34 and then dx the direction changes so let's give it the right direction direction will be like this dx is equal to uh, 8.75 and so is this dx here the direction is going to change Let's keep it the right direction, which is going to be equal to uh, 8.75. Right, let's outline the final solutions. We have AB, which is a compressive force in the two force member AB. We have CY uh, at uh, join have uh, CX. All right and then we have md and then we have dy and then finally we have dx all right i think this is really about it this is really about it and i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up uh, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye and I'll uh, see you in my next uh, screencast.